You're watching Mysteries and Mayhem, Flickr. It's an original comic book story set inside the short story universe. In case you are new to this channel, the Mysteries and Mayhem stories were told in an open-ending sort of way. Which means the stories were written without an actual ending. It's for you the listener to figure out the possible ending of the story. This makes you the storyteller and the story ends the way you see it. Furthermore, the Mysteries and Mayhem stories are fantastic ways for viewers slash subscribers to learn character development, character arc, story structure, and lots more. This video is best experienced with the CC closed captions turned on. Afterward, follow the story and use your fantasy video game imagination as you listen, learn, and enjoy Mysteries and Mayhem, Flickr. City of San Holotin slash United Scientists Association. This mega facility consists of elite scientists who gathered information on the human body, studied advanced robotic technology, artificial intelligence, bizarre weather, fantastic creatures, beings beyond the stars, and lots more. Outer Sightsee gathered information on the human body related to stressors in an advanced virtual reality slash gaming capacity. Thus, Outer Sightsee was also known as Gamer's City. The head scientists at Outer Sight C reviewed tons of profile videos on the popular website called Shortstream All-in-One. If selected, then a video invite was sent to their high-tech device a month prior to their expected arrival date. The moment a selectee accepted their invitation, also began their stressors evaluations. Thus, the head scientists at Outer Sight C kept in close communication with each selectee until the day of their arrival. Outer Sight C slash Meeting Room Fukena Volt, the head scientist also known as Axe and Lisa Young, eagerly entered the meeting room. Do you smell that? asked Axe as she curiously sniffed the air. It smells like John's cinnamon winter mints, said Lisa. John died almost two years ago, said Axe. This is totally fascinating, said Lisa as she gazed all around the room with the biggest smile on her face. He was always first in the meeting room, said Axe. As soon as you walked in, there's John sitting there popping those mints in his mouth, said Lisa. His spirit is still with us, said Axe. He's still head scientist in his world, said Lisa. I learned from the best, said Axe. Gosh, said Lisa as she checked the time on the office clock. Yes, we need to do a quick refresher on today's selectees, said Axe as she quickly unlocked the screen on her high-tech tablet. We've got Franklin Firefly. He has a wife and two kids. His wife's name is Orissa. His two kids are Javon and Maxi. Team leader, whispered Axe as she took notes on her tablet. Next up is Flash Mob, street performer, Ryan Thought, said Lisa. This is Ryan's third time here, said Axe. His body handles stressors well, said Lisa. Must be a dancer thing, said Axe. Never let them see you sweat, said Lisa. That's right, said Axe. Moving on to Carly Newby, said Lisa. Cute name, said Axe. She recently started her short stream account and she's fearful of felines, said Lisa. This is the place to get over your feline fear, said Axe. So true, said Lisa. Up next is Juniper Jensen. She's a gorgeous fitness personal trainer who also takes care of her grandparents named Walt and Betty Jensen, said Axe. She sounds excellent, said Lisa. Okay, next is Anderson Ford Kingston. He goes by the nickname, AFK, said Axe. He's the teen who won Holodrone, said Lisa. So, AFK should do great here, said Axe. Holodrone and what we're doing is similar, said Lisa. Yup, said Axe. Okay, the last two selectees are best friends, Eric Witkowski and Sahara Sandstorm, said Lisa. In both their profile videos, they talk about the Terminator Twister, said Axe. Totally waiting to hear their eyewitness accounts on that, said Lisa. Perfect, said Axe as she read the alert message on her tablet that read. Estimated time of arrival. Six minutes. Gem star. There it is again, whispered Lisa as she sniffed the air. Cinnamon winter mints, whispered Axe. We know it's you, John, shouted Lisa as she quickly gathered her belongings. Love you forever, John, shouted Axe as she and Lisa playfully exited the meeting room.
Outer Sight C slash Select T Departure Zone slash Hover Lift. Who's ready for some Sight C, science fiction, ultra reality, is it real or fake, gamers style action, asked Gemstar as the Select T's playfully entered the Hover Lift. We are. Shouted the Select T's as they cheered and applauded. That's the spirit, shouted Gemstar. Quick question, said Carly. Go right ahead, said Gemstar. What does the C in Sight C stand for, asked Carly. Hey, that's actually a great question, said Ryan. Everyone comes here, ready to perform and they don't ask the important questions, said Gemstar. I'm dying to hear the answer, said Franklin. The C stands for crisis, said Gemstar. Outer sight, crisis, said Sahara. Now, define the word outer, said Gemstar. Outer means external, said AFK. Also, it means superficial, said Juniper. Sight C is like a combination of virtual and ultra reality, said Ryan. It all sounds like a play on words, out of sight, crisis, said Eric. Sum it all up, give me the big picture, said Jim Star. It all means something fantastic and out of this world is happening in a contained area, yet a lot of people don't know about it, said Sahara. Gold Star goes to Sahara Sandstorm, shouted Gem Star as the selectees cheered and applauded. Outer Sight C slash Selectee Arrival Zone. Have fun and show them what you've got, shouted Gem Star as the selectees playfully exited the hover lift. This is totally amazing, said Carly as she gazed all around the massive complex. Welcome to Outer Sight C. I'm Gem 5.0. My nickname is Headbasher. I'm head of robotic person security for Outer Sight C. To answer the question of what the acronym GEM stands for, it means genetically engineered machines. We have feelings too. We even dream when we go into rest mode. Now, follow me inside, said GEM 5.0. Quick question, said Carly. Sure thing, said AFK. What does AFK stand for? asked Carly. It's my initials, plus in the gaming community, it means away from keyboard, said AFK. Oh like, away doing other things, not at your computer desk, said Carly with the cutest smile on her face. Gold star for Carly, said AFK as he lovingly smiled at Carly. Thanks, said Carly as she lovingly smiled at AFK. Mysteries and Mayhem, Flickr, Part 2, coming soon. Did you enjoy Mysteries and Mayhem, Flickr, Part 1? I can't wait to read your fantastic comments in the comments section. If this is your first time on this channel, welcome. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and kindly share it on your social media. Keep up to date with the fantastic comic book content on this channel by simply clicking the bell notification icon. Second Reminder Mysteries and Mayhem, Flickr, Part 2 coming soon. Thanks for watching.